dun 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 Welcome back to the Alfred multiplayer mode is really fun when you got somebody to play with that is. So we're actually going to go into versus mode? Yep. Uh, let's see, do we actually... No, oh, so actually... the cheats menu is determined by how many medals you get. All right. Yeah, so finally there's a point to getting the medals in campaign mode. All right. And those are and those are campaign mode only cheats. You can't right. apply you can't apply those during multiplayer mode. Multiplayer mode, well, you better hope you have somebody to play with because you cannot play against AI in this game. Damn so, it. this game did have online multiplayer by in to the nines and I got my ass kicked many times in said online multiplayer. I also similarly get my ass kicked n numerous times playing on the couch with my brother here, just like old times. Hmm. So you got three choices of games that you can play. Deathmatch, Destruction, or Strategic Assault. In We're death going to do Deathmatch 400, okay. So the object of the game is to hunt down the enemy team captain, or the team hero if you will, and eliminate them as many times as possible inside the time limit. Hmm. You can, can we increase turn down the frequency. The delay a bit. I mean, I I would say that that would be a valid consideration because uh, bad things happen when the enemy when you're not able to just respawn right away. At the same time, though. Ooh, a quick start of a thousand, really? Yeah, we just want to we just want to get the ball rolling. Five seconds. So, is, five seconds is good. You know, so this way you can't spawn camp. Well, you can spawn camp, it's just that, you know, it's less effective. And I think we decide, do we, do we no eventually decide? Yeah, we do. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, no just, delay just is not something right you away. want, because no delay allows for spawn camping much harder, uh, much, uh, much harsher, uh, much harsher. And field unit crates can reappear on the map according to your desired level of frequency. We decided the most frequent, which is just shy of four minutes. Well, just over three minutes. And these field units will stay on the field until collected. We have 12 maps to enjoy. They're all based on the premises that you can find during the main campaign. Reimagined and reconfigured for multiplayer friendliness, not doing corridor style like we've been used to. Uh, we go through 11 of these maps. Okay. And we go through each, and in each of these su subsequent 11 parts, we'll be going through each of the maps you normally doing a different win condition every time. Alright. So the goal the goal of Deathmatch is perfectly honest is to get, uh, get access to the army and hold it forever, as uh, then you can get access to the heavier machine gun turrets, which of course allows you to uh, uh to steroid your kill count significantly higher. Getting the motor pool, is, getting the motor pool, I would argue, is the more important objective because that would allow you to get a tank. Um, so we're, we're actually going to play with Nina, okay? Yep, Nina is the JD Tyler for the Nazis. She she deals the least amount of damage, and she is the and she has the lightest armor, but she also moves the fastest. Okay, so the jeeps that uh, the Nazis get uh, are, are the gun car, the cannon car, and the puma, and then the uh, half tracks are the wagon, the uh, the flampanzer, and I didn't get to read the other one. Now it is and time it, to it, it, damn it defend the area, send in the guns. Really. If you play as, if, so playing as the Germans gives you ac early access to airstrike. All right. Well, it uh, seems actually, that both of the players. Yeah, there's there's equivalency. Uh, there's equivalency and mirror and mirroring on on each side of the map with the kill zone and being a big. This stretch of fucking land is the kill zone. Oh God, no! This stretch of land is terrible for a kill zone. Oh, well, I mean, you can kill them just about anywhere. Especially when you finally capture the goddamn radio tower like you're supposed to. Me playing on the right as the Americans, not understanding what the fuck is going on. You see, if you use an explosive- Oh, there he is, there he is, take him out. 
I'm gonna get okay, I'm yeah, gonna rock, knock yeah, you. Yeah, Rocket Rabbit was up. Yeah, Rocket Rabbit was on the right. Okay, it's and it's playing. I am too. going to kill you. You are my enemy. I'm going to drop bombs on you. <laughs> oh no, there's, it's just that there's two airfields. Okay. There, there are two airfields, yes. That gives both players an equal opportunity to get to call on airstrikes. Ah, uh, but airstrikes aren't, aren't honestly worth the investment for the most part. Uh, like, Well, it, it did just score me a kill, though. No, we're just going to very quietly sneak away. It's easier to sneak away when you're going on foot, because you're a smaller target and people might lose track of where you are. Oh, the only kills that actually fucking matter are between the two players. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, you're not going to want light machine guns then, because light machine guns are just going to have you get killed more often by, uh, uh, by the heavier emplacements. This means war. Oh, field unicrate. Get the golden fable two chest. It's full of points. You like points. How dare you invade my territory. I'm gonna send you back to where you came from. You bastard. Quick, he's escaping. Take him out. Actually, wait, I keep I keep forgetting who I'm rooting for. No, I want it to be the way... <laughs> I just got ran over by a car. Score is tied up. Oh, wait, wait, but, but... Oh, he's standing still with no health. Don't well, stand still with no health. no health. Step away from the car. Alright, so the, I see the vehicle took all the hits there. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, yeah, oh, right, and I should also mention that, um... According to the rules of the G Geneva Convention set on the recording date well after World War II, opposing forces are not allowed to use melee against each other. They're also not allowed to use melee against enemy combatant units. Really? We're not allowed to use melee against, against AI units? It's, it was a game It was a game balance consideration that my brother and I agreed on because melee is a one-hit kill and we don't want to turn this into a ha-ha-ha, I got to you first kind of game. This is more like, I had the gun, I got the target, I got the kill. That's how it should work. Uh, but here we see, of course, the uh, uh, the rifle once again uh, just being ass. Uh. I think what it, but that I think that's that's just one that's just a flaw of the game is that it just does not know the game does not know how to fucking orient a hitbox when you're operating one of these gun emplacements. I was actually referring uh, to a uh, to uh, your, uh, to your brother playing with Nina right there because uh, Nina's rifle um, needs a good what is it four seconds in order to, in act in order to actually uh, minimize uh, in, in order to minimize uh, uh, mischance and even then it still it still actually has rather significant mischance. I call BS. How do you lose a point? <laughs> oh right, so in this mode. Um... I guess what this does is it helps you keep track ver versus counting kills. It's just trying to count who has gotten more kills than the other. So if the U.S. got a kill right now, U.S. would still be showing zero points, but the Nazis would be showing only one point. So it's tr keeping tr uh, track of a lead, not not individual points. Correct. Ew. Well, because it, because. The, the, the most important factor is the size of the lead because whoever holds the lead at the end of the game wins. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but still, you. I mean, it's it, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure how this is exactly better. I guess they don't want players to feel bad if uh, or or think too hard about the numbers. I mean, there's a lot of numbers in this game as it is. You got command points. You got distance from your strategic objectives and utilities you got command points that are costed you got command points for just getting rewards for enemy kills and you dying to and you dying to ai doesn't actually increase his score wow oh right right that's another big thing is you have to be responsible for the kill you have to pull the trigger or press the a button to do a melee execution if the ai gets the kill for you it doesn't count huh. 
All right, I'll just yeah, very sorry, slowly. Yeah, I I would never have played this after after my first uh, after my first experience with this shit. I mean, this, they're gonna this death is match. absolutely terrible score uh, scorekeeping system. Well, I mean, there there are other win conditions you can try. I'm not sure how crazy you'd be about destruction mode. I bet you would like strategic assault though. Uh, maybe, probably not, honestly, because uh, a strategic assault is uh, more is more or less a combination of King of the Hill and the standard camp and the standard campaign settings, right? Strategic Assault is basically King of the Hill, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, and I've never actually been a big fan of, King, of the King of the Hill style of gameplay modes in, a, in FPS games that I've played. So observe here all that uh, Player 1 is at a distinct advantage over Player 2 at the moment. He has command points, he has all three utilities, and Player 2 is on... is perpetually on the on the back pedal now just playing defensively trying to get a lead and get an edge in but because player one has been blowing up his resources the whole time and getting those sweet command points now player two can't really fight back that is not at all the case here especially since you still have access to the airfield like with the, with well, access uh, with access to the airfield you should be able to take down a good portion of uh, Nina's emplacements this problem of course with that being that he hasn't bothered to place any like a major a majority of this uh, a majority of this map has has been your uh, brother showing off that uh, he's got he's more comfortable on these maps with this gameplay style than you are. <laughs> We're just saying something because I played this game way more than Michael did. Okay, well that's that's a bit of game balance right there. Is that you don't you don't have to destroy enemy units in order to get command points if you can find the field unit crates strewn all over the map and they're probably numerous of them by now because they've been spawning every three minutes and twenty seconds. Then you could potentially turn the tide of battle. Oh, oh, don't don't get too close to the water now. Yeah, wouldn't want to drown there. To swim. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you, were, you, were, you, were you just shooting at me, or was that a mosquito bite? Uh, it's a little too far to get an airstrike from here. Okay, figure out where your enemy is and try try calling in an airstrike. See, we couldn't call in airstrikes until we found that field unit crate because they cost 300 units a piece just to call in one. Mm, which is a bit expensive for how, how for how ineffective the airstrikes actually are. Also, Mike, Michael and I did our best not to screen hack each other. Don't, you don't you want to be you want to be an honest Joe when it comes to this? Yay! I finally got a point. Except now it shows one two. So I think you just I, lost. I, I, a, don't... I think you just lost a point earlier, dude. Oh yeah, because I probably because I suicided. That would make a lot of sense. Oh man, it's coming down with. Oh crap! Yeah, yeah, because because uh, then Nina gets you. Okay, so if that's this is, if uh, that's the way the scorekeeping is working, then fine. It's a uh, relatively standard uh, scorekeeping, but shoot the one who's moving really, really fast and is wearing this stupid hat. And this is mortar, right? Yep, Mortar is ineffective from a distance. He's the McIntyre of the Nazi side. Is you he gets his flamethrower machine here gun. He's using the the light machine gun in order to be more accurate than fucking Nina was with the rifle. And so the Americans have been defeated by the Nazis. Tune in next time for even more multiplayer mayhem. Be safe, everybody.